What up, y'all? This past week, the Marvel Cinematic Universe released their latest movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, where Ant-Man and the Wasp travel into the quantum realm and Ant-Man faces his greatest foe, Kang the Conqueror. And you know what? I got a secret. Okay, I got it. I got I got a dirty little secret. I haven't seen it. And frankly, I'm not even that eager to see it. Not just because it got poor reviews, but also nowadays it seems like the MCU is just making recycled plot lines, putting little effort into the story and the character arc. Disney saw Marvel as a cash cow and thought, I'm gonna milk this sucker dry. Milky Milky. With Disney releasing eight MCU movies and eight TV shows within the past three years, it seems like the franchise has lost its magic. I remember when I was a kid, one, maybe two Marvel movies would come out in a year. And it was like that until 2017. They started getting closer to Endgame and Infinity War and they had to add more stories to the saga. However, nowadays, I personally feel like Disney and Marvel produce so much content that it's just overwhelming. Keeping up with the MCU is like a chore nowadays. The MCU is so recycled, it's ridiculous. I mean, what could be more recycled than a Disney and Marvel movie? AI. Over the past couple years, AI has been taking the world by storm. AI has become some of the most advanced technology the world has ever seen. AI can make art, music, and it can even write. Which gave me the idea. Can AI write a better superhero movie than the Marvel Cinematic Universe? So today I'll make three AI-generated movie scripts using ChatGPT. But before I get into the nitty gritty of everything, make sure to hit that like button and, and slap, slap that, that subby bee. bee. Anyway. Let's get it. Over the past couple years, AI has taken over the world. Around 2018 is when AI really started to take off, with AI influencers such as Lil Michaela coming to rise. And then more AI influencers came out, and then AI music. And now a few months ago, AI art started making its claim to fame. People started making cute little selfies and pictures for Instagram. But then at the start of 2023, AI art got really advanced. AI created images of celebrities of what they would look like when they're old. They created images of a time traveler taking realistic selfies. They made a family guy in The Simpsons look like a sitcom. They even made Breaking Bad look like a sitcom. <laughs> Since the renaissance, one of the fastest growing platforms has been ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a language processing tool driven by AI. You can type a command such as, write a two paragraph memoir for a banana. And this is what it'll give you. As a banana, my journey began as a small, green, unripe fruit in a cluster of my siblings. Two hours later. Though my journey as a banana may have been short, it was filled with deliciousness and it brought happiness to those who enjoyed me. Pretty cool, eh? So today I'm gonna be using ChatGPT to write three one minute scripts for my chosen Marvel movies. The three Marvel superheroes that ChatGPT will be writing about are Ant-Man, Spider-Man, and Captain America because he's my favorite. And for these scripts, I want to create a new and unique story. And that's why I decided to make up the villains myself by making them the exact opposite from the superheroes. So first up, we got Ant-Man. And what's the exact opposite from an ant? An anteater. The villain's an anteater. All right, chat GPT. Make a one minute script about Ant-Man versus the anteater. And here we go. go! The scene opens up with Ant-Man standing in a field ready to face his latest opponent, the Ant-Eater. All right, let's do this. Suddenly, the Ant-Eater charges towards Ant-Man, its long snout aimed straight at him. The Ant-Eater misses and crashes to the ground. Ant-Man quickly shrinks down to the size of an ant and jumps out of the way. The Ant-Eater gets up and tries to catch Ant-Man with his long, sticky tongue. You're not getting me that easily. Ant-Man lands a few punches on the Ant-Eater's nose, but it seems to have no effect on the armored animal. Okay, that, that's not working. Ant-Man then shrinks down even smaller and crawls into the Ant-Eater's ear canal. Let's see how how you like this? Ant-Man enlarges to the size of the anteater's ear, causing it to go crazy and thrash around. Time to finish this. Ant-Man jumps out of the anteater's ear and grows his normal size, punching the anteater in the nose one last time and knocking it out. That's how we do it. The scene fades to black as Ant-Man walks away victorious once again. All right, so next up we got Spider-Man. And what's the exact opposite from a spider? Maybe an amphibian or a reptile?
reptile or a fish, you know, because they eat spiders. How about an exterminator? But not just any exterminator, the verminator. You know, from uh, Over the Hedge. You seen that? You seen that movie? Huh? Make a one minute script about Spider-Man versus the Verminator. And just a quick disclaimer, this is not at all what I thought for the Verminator. So just be prepared. And, and here, here we, we go. go. Fade in, New York City, Day. Spider Man swings through the city, his spider sense tingling. Something's not right. Suddenly, a giant humanoid rat, the Verminator, jumps out from the alley. I've been waiting for you, Spider Man. Who are you? I am the Verminator, and I'm going to take over this city. The Verminator charges at Spider Man, who dodges his attack. I don't have time for this. Spider Man shoots webs at the Verminator, but they have no effect. Your webs don't work on me. We'll see about that. Spider Man flips over the Verminator and grabs a nearby fire hydrant. He smacks the Verminator with it and he goes flying. That takes care of that. Spider Man swings away as the police sirens approach. Fade out. And finally, we have Captain America. Now, the thing about Captain America is that his persona's a country. USA, baby, red, white, and blue. So I wanted his villain to represent some sort of country, but he already fought Hitler in the movie and in the comics. So who else could he fight? Ah, I got it. Make a one minute script about Captain America versus Vladimir Putin. And here we go. Disclaimer, this script is purely fictional and is not intended to promote or encourage violence or disrespect towards any real life individuals or groups. Opening shot, the Kremlin in Moscow, Russia. It's a battle of superpowers as Captain America faces off against Russian President Vladimir Putin in the heart of the Kremlin. The world is watching as tensions escalate. Cut to a shot of Captain America standing confidently in his red, white, and blue suit. I fight for freedom and justice. What do you fight for? Putin. Cut to a shot of Vladimir Putin, who is also dressed in a suit. I fight for the power and prosperity of my nation. And I will not let anyone stand in my way. Not even a so-called superhero. Captain America and Putin square off fist raised and ready for combat. The fight begins and both men show off their incredible strength and agility. Captain America's shield clangs against Putin's armor as they exchange blows. It's anyone's game at this point. Suddenly, Putin pulls out a hidden weapon and aims it at Captain America. That's not how how we settle things where I come from. Captain America expertly dodges the attack and delivers a swift blow to Putin's chest, knocking him to the ground. It's over, Putin. You can't win against the power of truth and justice. The scene ends with Captain America walking away victorious as Putin lies defeated on the ground. Another battle won for Captain America. Well, that was a wild ride. Drop in the comments your favorite AI-generated Marvel movie. I know in my video about AI influencers, I kind of hated on AI, but it is insane how advanced it has become. Maybe a tad bit scary, but it's fine. We're having fun, all right? We de we're doing good, happy, fun times. I really did have a fun time making this video. So if you kind of like this content, drop in the comments to let me know your opinion. I also wanted to mention that I actually got this idea from a Curtis Connor video where he did the same thing, but it was AI generated Christmas movies. So if you like this video, I recommend checking out his. Anyway, Thanks for watching and make sure if you like, leave a like and if you had a good time, subscribe. Until next time, folks. Peace.